it was really a, a culture of innovation and freedom that led to creativity. Freightliner is a you know company that was founded by, frankly, a customer. Leland James couldn't find the truck that he needed to make his business as profitable as it could be. And so he went and did it himself. Innovation was always welcomed. That's when I think Freightliner really positioned itself as a truck manufacturer that customer oriented and does things that nobody else is willing to do. It had a big personality and big aspirations and I think it was destined for greatness even going way back. If you take a look at some of the things that we developed, the cab over was one of the first products to have a integral sleeper cab. What the industry knows is the condo or the 70 inch raised roof was a paradigm change in the industry. Freightliner not only adapted, but they were big drivers in technology in the industry. So the envy of all the competitors. People used to tell me, you know, how could you work at one company for 33 years? I always told them, well, Freightliner and now Daimler Trucks is actually three companies during the 30 years. When we merged with Daimler, it couldn't have been better for Freightliner. And when Daimler came in, the first thing they did was they went into the plant, they cleaned it up, they painted it, they organized it, and they gave us stability. We formed this partnership where we took what they brought to the table and it allowed us to actually become more and more technically savvy. I think the, the Daimler association with Freightliner has been instrumental in Freightliner's success. We are customer focused. This job is about sitting in the lap of the customer. It's about coming to understand what the customer needs to do their job. We took the product to the customers, put it in their hands, did test drives, uh, took them into the classroom trailer, the aerodynamics, uh, the splash and spray, tapes from the testing and proving grounds for all the uh, testing and research that the vehicles went through before it came to the street. Everybody understood that ultimately the guy whose butt is in the seat, who's driving the truck down the road, is paying our wages. That's the person we have to make happy. That's the person whose life we have to strive to make easier. In 1987, we launched a new truck called the FLD 1E truck. It was aluminum, restyled, and it had an integral sleeper with a raised roof so you could stand up inside your cab. And that just rocked the industry. That's when we took over number one. No longer were we reacting to our competitors, but our competitors had to react to us, leaving us the chance to keep moving ahead of them. It was very exciting to work on the whole cab structure for the Century class. It was our first highly tooled cab. So for the first time, Freightliner went in and we really invested in tooling to stamp and shape metal. It was a real change in our philosophy of how the cab was built and how the design of all the piece parts was approached. The Columbia product was an interesting product that was introduced in the late 1990s. It was a combination of probably the FLD and the Century class. The Century class of the Columbia eventually were merged into a new product called the Cascadia, which was introduced in 2007. One of the key things on this particular product platform is that the cab structure is very robotically assembled. And it means that we have something that is built repeatedly, accurate every time, and 100% inspected, so that the quality is built right in. It's not added on after the fact. It's built right into the product. And it hit a home run. The good thing about Freightliner is they don't jump at technology. They will go after technology that has a common sense approach to the market requirements and demands. Right now, around the globe, there is an emphasis to reduce our carbon footprint for uh, the future. And so we're on public record, Daimler, at 
trying to reduce our carbon footprint from the truck by 20% by 2020. Virtual Technician was you know, one of our latest innovations. It gathers information off sensors off the engine and the vehicle, transmits that information to a call center in Detroit. A Detroit engineer takes that information, assesses it, and makes a determination of what's happened on the vehicle. We've basically taken a test development tool, turned it into a commercial tool that we've now made standard on every freight liner that uh, carries a Detroit diesel engine. We're continuing to refine the products, improve it, offer different components, and we're getting into new age of now looking at not only our truck, but how we can provide services for the customer, and we're investing more into telematics. Telematics is using a computer to somehow monitor the truck and use the global positioning satellite system to determine where the vehicle is, and then providing information to help either operate the vehicle for fuel economy, or to help track the vehicle's operation and location for the fleet dispatch people. With Detroit Diesel and our acquisition of, uh, of the Detroit brand uh, back in 2000, the foresight there uh, to know that we needed to have an in-house engine manufacturer, that was critical to Freightliner's long-term success and, and frankly to Daimler's you know, North American strategy in trucks. Now sitting in 2012, you know, with uh, 70 years of history behind us, we're shaping that industry in creating a fully integrated vehicle. $750 million in sales when I started and over $15 billion in sales when I left. That's tremendous to have in your career path to say I did it with one company. We don't think it's enough that our customers can look at us and say that what you're doing is great. We want to make sure that we've got that next level of product, next level of innovation, that next level of profitability to their bottom line that we're working on and showing them for the future.